So creepy Cuomo is in some hot water here. The governor of New York has been uh, all over the news as an independent investigation through the New York's attorney's general office has gone ahead and revealed that he has sexually harassed at least 11 different uh, state employees. And that is a big problem for it. It's all over the news and uh, there's calls for his resignation. But what what's really going on here? Like what's happening? Why is it going this way? Is he going to go to jail? All of that stuff. These are, these are lingering questions and there aren't really easy answers, but I think there's an answer to why the coverage is like this and why the pressure to step down kind of exists on this thing. And, uh, we should maybe talk about it. I'm Nick Riccata of Riccata Law, a small law firm in central Minnesota. I'm a lawyer. I'm also a legal and political commentator on YouTube and on Odyssey. Wherever you're watching, go ahead, hit like, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications, all that good stuff, and uh, don't miss any videos. Okay, so here we go. We've got the probe, uh, which I think that's what Cuomo calls his hands, finds Governor Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women, violated federal and state law. This is a bit of an overstatement from the New York Post. This is likely violated federal and state law, but in this article we get to some really frustrating aspects of this. If he violated state and federal law, let's get some criminal charges on it. And it uh, seems like we can make this thing an open and shut deal, right? Not so fast. Cuomo was exposed in a blockbuster investigative report made public Tuesday as a dirty old man who used his powerful position to sexually harass female underlings less than half his age, including by touching their intimate body parts without consent. And we'll get more into what that accusation means in a minute. There's been a follow-up to this article. A mountain of evidence also revealed that Cuomo and his team retaliated against at least one victim and created a toxic and hostile work environment for women in the executive chamber, officials alleged, saying his on-the-job lechery violated multiple federal and state laws. Attorney General Letitia James said an independent and thorough probe she commissioned in March showed Cuomo had engaged in unwanted groping, kissing, hugging, and making inappropriate comments. These interviews and pieces of evidence revealed a deeply disturbing yet clear picture. Governor Cuomo sexually harassed current and former state employees in violation of federal and state laws. Well, this sounds great. This sounds like we've got him dead to rights. They can go ahead and just uh, put the cuffs on him, arrest him like they would any other uh, pervy perpetrator. But here we go. It's it's starting to get, It's it's not going to, be that clear, is it? This investigation has revealed conduct that corrodes the very fabric and character of our state government, shines light on injustice that can be present at the highest levels of government. The AG's probe involved accusations that Cuomo, 63, sexually harassed several current and former female staffers, most of whom are in their 20s or 30s, as well as other women outside of government. James called it a sad day for New York and said it was up to Cuomo to decide whether he'll heed the demands of lawmakers on both sides of the aisle and resign from office in disgrace. Well, where, where are the handcuffs? Within the five-month investigation complete, James also said that our work is concluded and that the matter is civil in nature and does not have any criminal consequences. Wait a minute, though. You just talked about violating several federal and state laws. So sexual harassment and even accusations of sexual assault, groping, the touching of intimate body parts is somehow... That some, suddenly that's not criminal. You've got the evidence. One of the lawyers hired, uh, James hired to lead the probe. Ann Clark noted that the Albany Police Department had already been notified by Cuomo's office about an accusation that he groped a female aide in his executive mansion in Albany last year. And this is who that is. It's uh, Brittany Camiso, who has gone public with her accusations here. This is this is her face. Um, she basically says uh, and she's accusing him of hugging her inappropriately and then going a little further. And then they started to be hugs with kisses on the cheek. Then there was at one point a hug where he went and kissed me on the cheek. He quickly turned his head and kissed me on the lips. She also mentioned these were not hugs that he would give a mother or a brother, but uh, hugs that were for sexual gratification. Now, one of the easy criticisms of this testimony is she can't necessarily know 
if it's a hug for his sexual gratification. I mean, how do you describe that? How do you know that's the thing that's going on? But at the same time, you know, there's there's this allegation that this happened. Unwanted touching, unwanted kissing, those are uh, those are some form of either assault or battery, depending on how states categorize them. So again, to say that there's no criminal penalty here, I mean, there could be if you guys want to just go ahead and pursue it. Uh, quote, he thought this was normal to me and the other women that he did this to. She added of the incident at the executive mansion in Albany it was not normal. It was not welcome. And it's certainly not consensual. Here's a selfie of the two. And this selfie is actually part of the investigative report because it is this selfie in which uh, she alleges that he actually reached down and groped her posterior. I guess is the professional way to say that. But he put his hand on her butt, not just like a brush, not not just passing, uh, you know, but but actually spent time spent time down there rubbing it. Uh, and it was not something that she wanted. Uh, she, she has the story here. The then felt while taking the selfie, his hand goes down my back onto my butt and he started rubbing it, not sliding it, not, you know, quickly brushing over it, rubbing my butt. So here she is, uh, describing an act of potentially sexual assault, but you know, it doesn't look like, uh, New York has many plans to actually criminally charge creepy Cuomo. So what's going on? There's pressure for him to resign. There's this investigation that reveals all this stuff. They're not going to take it criminal though. Cause why would you do that? Right? Like if, if anybody else did it, I mean, you know, that would, that would probably be a criminal charge, but, uh, Cuomo doing it, hmm, we're not going to go criminal. So what's going on here? Look, I think this has a lot, a lot, a lot to do with COVID. I mean, there's no other way to put this. Cuomo put people into places and it killed a whole bunch of people in New York. But the media, New Yorkers, other states, Biden praised Cuomo over and over for killing tons of people, said that he handled it the right way. He got an Emmy. He got an Emmy for his his uh, news appearances or whatever in which he detailed how he ended up killing people. Like, this is, this is crazy talk. But this is the sin that Cuomo committed at the end of the day. This is what the problem is. And this is a way to put pressure on Cuomo without acknowledging the damage that he did by having tens of thousands of New York residents put at risk by his actions. And not undercutting the actions of other governors, Governor Whitmer, Governor Newsom, who's in his own bit of uh, trouble with his with his recall election. That's what this is about. This is about maybe maybe taking the focus off of how Cuomo handled that COVID stuff, because someday, at some point, someone's going to look back and be like, wait a minute, that wasn't actually good at all. He, he, he put sick people into nursing homes and then ravaged the nursing home population of New York, uh, had a, had a ridiculous death count going in New York and, um, and we all praised him for it. That's, that's not good. So a way to get around that to me looks like, well, you get these, you get these assault and harassment allegations. You don't go after him criminally, I guess, for reasons because he is still a political ally to the New York attorney general. I mean, let's be real about that. But uh, but also they put out the blistering report, but it's up to him whether he's going to resign. I mean, we wouldn't want to charge him with something. So these are civil matters, civil matters of sexual harassment and assault. But, you know, that's that's the power of having a D next to your name in a state like New York. As you can go ahead and kill a whole bunch of old people, you can grope a whole bunch of young people. And at the end of the day. You know, it's up to you whether you continue in office or not. Anyway, that's that's my opinion on the whole deal. I think it's uh, I think it's disgusting. I think the guy's you know seems to be a creep, but you know he he killed a lot of people. We we seem to be glossing over Cuomo killed a whole lot of people by his actions as governor. But it's it's up to him, right? 
So anyway, why don't you guys drop a comment down below? Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. Peace. Peace.